Here I want to do an example utilizing a uh, cross product. So let's start with a uh, vector, we say A. It has a uh, magnitude of 4. I'm going to say A is magnitude of 4. And it is pointing an angle theta equals 30 degrees above the horizontal. And then we're going to say B is a vector uh, pointing straight down and has a magnitude b is equal to 3. And so I'm going to say I have a right-handed coordinate system x to the right, y up, and z is then out of the screen. So I want to know what is then a cross b. All right, so um, it, this sort of looks like it'd be useful to use in geometric form. I'm going to solve it a couple ways. So the first thing I'm going to do is, is bring them together uh, tail to tail. So here's the a vector and here's the b vector. And I know that that angle there is 30 degrees. And so uh, a cross b is equal to the magnitude of a, magnitude of b, uh, sine theta, the angle between them, uh, times a unit vector determined by the right-hand rule. So this would be equal to the magnitude of A, which I find is 4, the magnitude of B, which is 3. Now, the sine theta, this, this theta here is the angle between the vectors tail to tail, which is given by this angle here. And so that angle is 90 plus 30, or 120 degrees. So this is sine 120, then, and hat. So again, that's one of the things you have to be careful about. In the definition of the cross product, this angle is defined to be the angle between the vectors tail to tail. So just because uh, someone gives you an angle does not and calls it theta does not necessarily mean it's that angle. You have to put the angles, uh, the vectors tail to tail to come up with the angle between them. Okay, so this is uh, 4 times 3 sine of 120 is the square root of 3 over 2. Now to do the uh, unit vector since a is the first vector, I point my index finger along a, then I point my middle finger, both from my right hand, along b, and I find that my thumb is pointing into the screen. And if it's into the screen, that would be the negative z direction. So the unit vector is negative k hat. So the cross product, there's a factor of 2, is 6 times the square root of negative, 6 times the square root of 3, k hat. All right, um, let's look at this just in a slightly different way. So, um, so let's say I have A here, and I know B goes straight down, and so I'm just writing my B here, I'm just sort of bringing them them together because I remembered that the one way to look at it is the magnitude of one vector times the magnitude of the other um, uh, the projection of the other vector perpendicular to the first so if I draw my vectors like this it's sort of uh, now I'm looking at them tail of B to the to the head of a um, I can use this I'm, is my yellow line here is my axis perpendicular to B. And I'm given this angle here, theta, which is 30 degrees. And so the component of A that is perpendicular to B can be given from this triangle to be a uh, cosine theta, where theta now is, is this angle, which is 30 degrees, the original one I was given. And so since my cross product, A cross B, can be written as the perpendicular component of A uh, times the magnitude of B, then times n hat, given this picture, this can be written as A uh, cosine of 30, and, well, A, I'll just put in my numbers, A magnitude of A, which is 4, times cosine of 30, times the magnitude of B, 
and then again I have to use the right hand rule. Right hand rule works the same way as it did before, negative k hat. The cosine 30 is the square root of 3 over 2, so that gives me another uh, 6 times the square root of 3 k hat, which is the, the same that I had before. But here I I look I use sort of the geometric um, uh, interpretation of the cross product that we developed last time. The magnitude of the cross product is the magnitude of one vector times a component of the other vector perpendicular to the first. I could have done the same thing by finding a and then the the projection of b perpendicular to a, and I should get exactly the same thing. Okay. Finally, let's look at the um, this problem in component form. So first, let's find the components of a. So it's, again, here I have, if I put my uh, positive x and positive y axes here, the a has an x component, which is equal to the magnitude of a times uh, cosine of theta plus the magnitude, <laughs> magnitude of a times uh, sine of theta, where theta is my, my angle given here, which is 30 degrees. That's x component and y component. Um, my b simply had the negative magnitude of b in the y hat direction. So a then was equal to 4 times cosine of 30, which is the square root of 3 over 2. So that's 2 times the square root of 3. Uh, I hat, and sine of 30 is 1 half, so 1 half times 4 is 2 J hat. And so B just has had a magnitude of 3, so this is equal to negative 3 J hat. So this is now my vectors in component form. So now I can go ahead and calculate A cross P using the uh, component form, the component equation. Now I'm not going to write that, that whole thing out last time, but it had a, a lot of terms. It had two terms uh, i hat, but um, both of these terms had components, had z components. This component had a, um, uh, a, a, a z component of a and b, and so did this one. And since the z components are zero, both of these terms are zero, and you can uh, compare this to the to the notes that you had before, I had this one had, there was a bz term in here, and there was an az term in here, but both of those are zero, so both of those are zero, both terms are zero. So in this other one, this was uh, az times bx, well az is zero, minus ax times bz, but bz is zero, so that's zero too, and that's j hat. Okay, so then the final term of the cross product was uh, ax, and the a x was, uh, we'll get my square brackets here, ax was 2 times the square root of 3 times by, and by was negative 3, minus ay, the a component, a y component of a, which is 2, times bx, the x component of b, which was 0. And this was k hat. Well, again, here's this term 0, so all I'm left with was this term which is negative 6 square root of 3 k hat. So again, doing the cross product in compo component form, I get the same result that I got before.